morning guys it's day four so this morning Brina's going back to BC her friend's dad does um, business up there from time to time so that's how she got home and that's how she's getting back he's gonna drive them back this morning which is so lovely um, that she was able to come down for free and Scott knew she was coming because when she was home for Thanksgiving last weekend um, she told him she's like I know I'm gonna be crossing the border one of you should probably know that <laughs> I'm coming home to surprise you guys um, so Scott knew about it and uh, which was smart that she did that so that one of us knew um, but yeah Kerrigan and I were completely surprised that was awesome so today what I need to do is go to Target and try to find a stocking for Scott we got the ones with our initials on them and we could not find a cream color S because I'm trying to do red for Bryn, green for Kerrigan, which are the colors we always do. And then I was getting cream stockings for him and I. <laughs> he was like, oh, just what I always wanted was a cream color stocking. I'm going to take mine with me today and see if I can get him a cream stocking. But if I don't, I'll switch mine out. And then if I can get him a green one, I'll get a red one or whatever. And then I have to get some painting done because there's a couple little gifts I want to do. And then I have another craft, a little knitting craft that I'm doing. And I also have to post uh, my artwork and stuff so that if you guys want to purchase anything um, on my craft channel, then um, you guys have time to do that and it can get into the mail. All right, say goodbye to Miss Bryn. She's going back to school. She's so excited. Mm -hmm. How many exams do you have? Four. Four. But the way they're spread out, she has to stay until the 15th of December. And quiet hours are anytime after 6 p.m. <laughs> so she can't, like, you're not allowed to dry your hair. Like, seriously, that's what they mean by quiet hours. That's crazy. <clears throat> All right, say bye. Okay, just in Target in Redmond, I'm trying to find the Christmas stocking for Scott and they did not have it. So they had a red one, but they didn't have a green tea. So if I'm gonna switch us to red and green, then I gotta find them for both of us. So I'm gonna go to another Target. I cannot find this stocking for Scott. This is the third Target I've been to. Um, I've got one more that I'm gonna try. Oh, it's so cold out and my hair is so staticky. The lady helping at the self-checkout was so sweet. She said S is the hardest one to find. Her daughter's name starts with an S. She said, you can't get them anywhere. I said, well, I just got the last one. And she high-fived me. So after driving around for two hours, we finally have the stockings. So we got Tanya and Kerrigan. And we got... <laughs> some BS. We got Bryn and Scott. So I think they look nice and they match the bells over there on the side with the red and the green. I think they're really cute. So, ah, done. What I would like to do, uh, once I get the house uh, put back together, I would like to go through my craft room. I know I say this all the time, but my God, I've got stuff everywhere. And like, here's one drawer, for example, this is my needle felting drawer. I have garbage <laughs> from my sticker paper. I have the backing of pins. I have the instructions for shrinky dinks, which I don't even need. I have glue that I use for my pins. I have a random thing of beads, a little box of beads, and then you get to the needle felting. I have these cute little kits. I have a little reindeer guy. I have a Santa guy. I have a snowman one. I have, what's this one? A Santa and a reindeer. They're absolutely adorable, but you know what? Why did I buy them if I'm not going to do them? Let's do the needle felting and um, get her done and like do it and hang it up. Put it with the Christmas stuff. If you're going to buy it, then make it. I have some of this yarn, it's really nice and soft. I had bought that last year, I think, and I'm making a scarf, it's getting there. I've done this much of it, it's so soft. It's like, oh, it's lovely. And I'm trying to make an, uh, an infinity scarf. So I have the two balls of yarn, I'm almost done this one. I'm gonna just keep going until the yarn is gone and use it up and then it's done. And then I don't have to worry about storing yarn. Then I have to worry about st storing a scarf. Uh, and then this one, 
is a pair of socks that I'm knitting and just use it up. Make the socks. You bought the balls of yarn for your socks. Make the socks. Like, just do that. And then, then I'll have one last thing to think about. One last thing that I need to store. You bought the yarn years ago. Use the yarn. I just need to go through the stuff and, and keep what I'm going to use and keep what I'm going to do and then get rid of some other things. We both know that I'm not going to get rid of the entire room um, because that just doesn't really make sense. But I do need to go through some stuff and really make some decisions on um, what makes sense to keep and what doesn't. Yeah, I want to have uh, things just really organized and not just in my craft room. I want to have things organized in the whole house. So I have big plans for that for 2019 and just be really honest about the stuff that we own. We need to finish the Christmas stuff and then run through the house with a vacuum and it'll just feel so much better. I just have no motivation to do that. Okay, time to get back to work. Just take, oh my God, Tanya, just go get the vacuum and take 20 minutes and finish it. Ah! I still have to do the outside decorations. It's a little chilly uh, today, so I'll just see if it'll warm up in the next couple days and I'll get out there and and do that. Again, that only takes me about an hour, but oh, it's just the motivation, just trying to find the motivation to do it. Okay, I gotta go get Vlogmas Day 3 up, and yeah. I have a headache, like, right here in my eye socket. Um, I gotta figure out the timer for the tree, because I want it to be coming on like this time of day, like not supper time. I want it on earlier than that. Um, I went around and finally got everything cleaned up. So I got everything done in here. The trees are done. I vacuumed and everything looks really nice. I just have to get control of the blankets. Like, oh my God, we have way too many big blankets. I got to clear the dishes off the counter. I want to get uh, the timer sorted out. So this is what we have going on here. So we could control the tree with that, but we've got this thing that does like, you know, dawn till dusk or whatever. But then Scott said we have this thing and I'm not really sure how to use it. Set current time, rotate the dial clockwise to match the current time. Oh, I see. Now, when I plug this in, the tree should... It doesn't reach. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> That's why he used the other timer. I bet you anything, because he knew it didn't reach. <laughs> there. Okay. So we'll check around midnight and see if that turns off. My craft room is such a mess. I just have a little path that leads me to my chair. Um, I'm about to take Kerrigan to a friend's house and Scott is out at a work thing in his um, Aloha shirt, his <laughs> Halloween party. <laughs> and Kerrigan, do you want this mascara? I got it from Ulta. It's gonna be a cute little backup. Yeah. Do you want it? Oh, it's cute. Okay. Sure. Um, and I'm going knitting, which I totally forgot about. Hi. Hey. Do my backpack. Got my laptop in it. No. Don't let go. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you carry that around all day? I don't know. Um, okay, so we're off to do our various activities and um, we'll say goodbye. You wanna say goodbye? Yeah. You walk you left. She Hi. left. Socks are too thick, they can't fit in my burks. Oh, what? first world problems. Okay. They can't slide. <laughs> Alright, say goodbye. Say we'll Bye. see you tomorrow for See you day tomorrow five. for Vlogmas Day 5. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Bye.